the danger of my life. Look, Rick Orange from Stanley Kubrick. Alex, the meat, and Georgie are their favorite for drinking, the drug laden milk bus, and planning their next misdeeds. When they leave, they encounter their first victim, an old drunk who is brutally beaten. Then they continue their way until they reach an abandoned cinema where a collective violation is being committed. Alex and his companions break into the scene, but not to save the victim, but to punish the attackers, Billy Boy and his gang. After a fight, Alex and his team win and flee euphoric. With exacerbated desires of violence, they steal a car and driving recklessly and causing accidents all over the house. They decide to attack their tenants, a writer and his wife. They knock on the door and lie, telling them they need to make a call because they had an accident. When they manage to enter, they cover their faces with false noses, hit the man and rape the woman. The lull sings singing in the rain. After committing these crimes, Alice returns home and listens to Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, imagining violent scenes. The next day, Alex does not attend class, but when he gets up, he meets Deltoid, a probation officer who tries encouraging him to change his attitude. His parents, disconnected from the reality of their child, do not understand what is happening to him. Alex goes out, and after a clash with them, goes with two women. In his absence, the gang questions his leadership, and when he returns, he overhears his buddies talking. And to impose his authority, he throws Georgie and them into the river. Then he hits him in the arm. Both get out that their enmity has been marked. To be involved with his partner's misdeeds. Alex accepts her proposal to storm the house of a rich woman who only lives with her cats. They try to enter using the same excuse with the writer, but this time it doesn't slip. The woman recognizes him and calls the police. Regardless, Alex bursts through the window, and after a struggle, he murders her with a statue. When his classmates come out, they wait for him at the door. The gym hits him with a glass bottle, leaving him temporarily blind and sore. Unable to move, the police arrive and grab him. Alex is sentenced to 14 years in prison. Three years later, his relationship with the minister has been consolidated. One day, Alex shows his interest in the lead over treatment that rehabilitates criminals by eliminating their impulses. But he accepts the proposal of the minister to participate in this procedure. In this treatment, Alex is drugged and immobilized with a straitjacket. They put a headpiece on him and clamp his eyes open so he can't close them when they present images of extreme violence. Over time, he begins to feel bad the scientists claim that the drug causes paralysis and terror, leaving the patient completely vulnerable. The minister then demonstrates Alex's rehabilitation, making it clear that he is no longer a danger to society. Even so, his parents reject him when he returns home. Alex wanders alone in the street. When he runs into the beggar he had a hit years ago, the beggar, along with his friends, beats him up. The meeting is interrupted by two policemen. They turn out to be Dim and Georgie, but they are still criminals. They take Alex to the forest, and beat him completely in search of revenge. Then he manages to escape, he asks for help at the nearest house. It turns out to be that of Frank, the writer he attacked years ago. A widower and paralytic, he does not remember Alex and helps him. However, when the young man sings again singing in the rain, Frank recognizes him and decides to kick revenge. He slips him a sleeping pill and plays the Ninth Symphony. There's the treatment this makes him suicidal. When Alex wakes up and hears the music, he throws himself out the window. Alex wakes up in the hospital with wounds on his body, and his mind is lucid as before. He recovers his manner of speaking with arrogance and violence. Now he shows himself as a treatment victim. The minister visits him and apologizes to raise the bad image of his party. The young man accepts all this, since he now feels like a star. Did you know about this disturbing movie? Let us know in the comments what other movies we should cover. And don't forget to subscribe until next time.